What do you think, Sam? I would pull the carpet up and, and, and the subfloor is messed up. Yeah. We do the subfloor because Dr. George has got to shimmy it up and tighten it down. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't think the joist is as bad as we have to replace the joist. The the subfloor? Yeah, the subfloor from the hill is probably going to be shimmed up. Because you have to address it eventually anyhow. Mm -hmm. and might as well let them go ahead and pull the carpet up now. Um, and this little bit of carpet should be maybe yeah. three, four hundred dollars. Yeah. It's not much carpet at yeah. all. At least you have a secure here, so if you want to continue the home on the floor, you have the opportunity to do it or go back with the with the carpet and whatnot. But they might have to pull it up okay. to address this. Yes, that's and maybe one thing for us. A little small section. Because you have multiple pockets. And the way the sofa goes that it warps over time. If you do it, you go right. If you move in, you have any problems. Yeah, I don't want to have to deal with anything after I move in, even though I know I will. Yes. I learned that from my wife. <laughs> she said, look, you know, get it, get it done right. Mm -hmm. But you got to tear off, tear it off, but then it's three, four, five, seven years, you never worry about it. Right. And since you're not front, you can just the right time to do it. There was a leak in this house. Mm -hmm. That metal that metal roof out there sitting on the bay window, mm -hmm. that, that water just coming straight down the side, messing up that trail. Yeah, yeah. Probably gotta replace some flashing and put a um, yeah. uh, thing with which I need to write that in there as well. Because that's gonna be something that's gonna be reoccurring if we don't address it now. Your flashing. So they're going to have to um, shim this all up and of course paint. Um, now if you want to go ahead and do the whole room while they paint, they just want to deal with the ceiling. Because I mean we can, they, they still got to patch up these holes. There's various holes in the in the house. That's going to be a pretty drum all. So at the end of the day, we probably want to do this whole room painted. Okay. Uh, so the whole room painted, uh, like I said, to fix all your little holes and stuff. Because um, all, all the windows are messed up behind all the time in here. The bay windows messed up. Um, so all this will need to be touched up and painted um, and the drywall repaired. Okay. See some of the walls over here. It looks like glitter. And they put glitter on the wall. Mm -hmm. You like that glitter? No. <laughs> One thing she's missing is crystal balls, yeah. one of them club balls. Because all this stuff we have to be sanded down. Prime, because it's a red wall. Mm -hmm. So you got to take at least to get rid of that. You got to put the cubes on it. 
and a product and bring it down to a neutral. And staying it on this. See, it's, 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 see like little bubbles like this? It's all over the walls. See little bubbles right here? It's right here. Mm -hmm. All down from right here. Oh, this would be including the drywall repairs. Sure. That's right. Okay. Now, what are you, what's your, we understand you said you want to replace the appliances in here, correct? your cabinets and stuff. Are you okay with the cabinets? I'm okay with the cabinets. I guess um, budget-wise, that would probably be the last thing that I would worry about. Okay. Long term functional, you you okay with mm -hmm. it? Yeah, I could leave the kitchen away from this, but definitely swap out the appliances. So someone, if you try to sell this house right now, you know, people can come in, this could be a turn off for somebody. Right. Especially, you know, from a female perspective, you want you want a, a real mm -hmm. kitchen. Um, so it's going to need to be addressed. Okay. Okay. Closer to your tower here. It's packed up in the bathroom. Yeah, yeah, wait, because it's, it's all, all this. Did you put no, John, there's no door rocker in there. 
Huh? There's no door right under there. Oh yeah, they, they there's no door. There's no door right here. There's no door right downstairs. There's no door right. Um, door rock is a it's a half inch concrete board that goes on the floor, which secures the floor and levels it. And you level it down, and you put the tile on top of that, which gives you a lot more durability. When you don't have it, you put the tile on top of the plywood. Plywood shifts, therefore the tiles crack and move. And they've done that. They put it right on top, as you can see, on top of the plywood. There's no door rock. So and came to on the steps. They put the the tile right on the wood. Right. That's why it's coming off. There's no right. door rock. You can't do tile that. And on top of that, it, the door rock is water resistance. So especially if you have a place like this, and in your bathroom, or not, and the water get between the little tiles, what not, the grout, it eventually gets to the, the floor, which caused the floor to warp, and that's what caused your tile to start breaking up the shelf. So all these will probably need to be taken up, put a door rock on, and then put a tile back down on top of them. A lot of these are body repairs, they're not on the scale. <laughs> they, That's a nice No, but he, here's the thing I tell people. We've been involved in thousands of these type of transactions. It's, every thousand dollars is ten dollars. So if it's ten thousand, it's basically a hundred dollars increase in your payment. Right. So if you look at it long term, because you Amortizing over 30 years in your mortgage. So if it's 10,000 or 20 or 30, in terms of your monthly payment, you're not even going to notice that it's going to be eight, ten dollars. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So the best thing to do is to get in, get it done now. Get it, rip it, rip out what needs to be ripped out, get it done 100 percent right, enjoy it. Because if you Half dues, half ass this, half ass that. It's gonna cause problems later on. Which it looks like that's what the people. It looks like that's what they've done. Yeah. They they've done a lot of patches, yeah. and it's inconsistent because I'm looking around. You know, you don't. I mean, this is the way they made these cuts. The way they made these cuts, and they're missing quarter round, and they're missing this. This this, this sounds like it used, to, it used to be a wannabe contractor that took care of his own house, mm -hmm. a handyman, without the skill set, basically. Did you see behind the, the door? Yeah, all that I had all that. Again, your switch here is broken too, and this, on this door too. You can see right here. You don't cut the cord around that short. You can't even cut this. Well, is it pushed over? Because it looks like it's under the door. Yeah. It's not it's just not a small inconsistency. It's like they didn't measure the refrigerator before they bought it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, trim work and all. Okay. Of course, you guys should need to change that again. I'm going to do this one. Yeah, I'm going to do this one. About this over here. Yeah, it's a lot of it all dry right out. Keep going. Now this is not secure. Learning a little something, some, huh? There you go. There you go. It's really in a, in a sense you break it down as common sense. You start thinking safety. If you think about safety, whatnot, that's all you're really looking for. Yeah. Yeah, this wood does look dry though. Mm -hmm. Primarily because it's dead and dead and waterproof, or they haven't waterproof in a long time, um, and that's what causes it to start deteriorating. Um, this is going to need to be, I mean it's secure, but all this is going to need to be um, brought up and put back down again. Uh, the structure of you okay, but the, the, uh, the top uh, wood or whatnot, the cell phone need to be replaced. As well as all this needs to be secure all the way around. I put a weather treat. Yeah, treat it, because they haven't treated it in a while. So you're saying put it back up with the same wood or new wood? New wood, new wood, new wood. Now is that something like 
the stuff that needs to be replaced, something that I will pick out. And Everything is your choice. It's homeowner's choice. Okay. It's homeowner's choice. You want to be able to communicate with the contract, let them know what you want. He'll pretty much let you know what they budget um, at the end of the day. Because mm -hmm. it's never done. My number is his number degree. So the things I'm kind of pointing out to you now have to be done. Right. So I'm already put a price on it. So you'll probably know what budget you're working with as far as the, the uh, uh, labor and material costs. You know, then it's up to you and the contractor what you pick out and how you move, okay. move forward. When you turn your vent on your oh. stove, yeah, it lets, letting all that exhaust out this way. Oh. And that was coming from the dryer. Does that need to be like cleaned yeah, out? Yeah, need to be cleaned. seen so far, even your bedroom. Um, I don't know if you got eyes in it for a long time. My recommendation, you might want to go ahead and get all this carpet up here, man. Uh -huh. All this carpet here, because again, you know, it, it's, I see too much patchwork and different things and whatnot. So there's no telling what's been in this and they have not got out of whatnot and you don't want to come in and catch someone else's disease uh, right. stuff. So it's, it's part of best and, it, and that has been here for, for ages. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, so yeah, all this carpet up here needs to be replaced as well. Okay. I don't like it. So, you got it down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, this again is a big call. You got it out. Now, we'll repair and paint it. Yeah, how serious is something like that? A crack like that? Um. This is more like a southern, the, the, the bad thing, why well, it's the bad thing. Uh, the hard part is if you're on the end unit. Now, if, you're on, if this house is on the end, I have more concern, because typically a sound like this would show that they're underpinning, probably giving out like the pin that when they, when they first start building it, the, uh, from the ground up or whatnot, they have to put like extra concrete and stuff under the ground to support the house, what it's sitting on. Mm -hmm. um, now, if there was an end unit in the townhome or whatnot, and we saw that, I have some concerns here, we got some structural stuff going on. But because of the, in the because it's just between other two houses and whatnot, it's probably just cellular and whatnot that's never been repaired. 
Uh, we're about a tip and L. Oh, no, 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 no. You're, you're, you're in the, so I'm in the middle. Yeah, you're in the middle. <laughs> you're in the middle. Um, yeah, so you have to worry about it. <coughs> I would open up the wall and cut it open. See Make sure there's nothing back there, back yeah. here. It's a little area. Well, being they got to take the drywall down anyhow, yeah. 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 Of course, can you call the door back up? Another tip I'll give you got, because my wife got bad allergies too, there's a um, air filter that you put into the furnace. It's called dust mite. It's like 99.9% of your capture. Uh, yeah. The problem with I'm checking the windows now. Especially when you're dealing with a bedroom or whatnot, you want to make sure that if someone left the window up, if there's a fire or something in the house, the window will stay up for someone to be able to climb out. So that's what I'm checking on to make sure the window stay up once I push it up. Hey, give me, give me about 30 minutes to be in the middle of an inspection. So there was two separate. Yeah, they probably had that for. They probably had that for um, cable TV. Oh. Same thing here. We got the carpet to be replaced, painting the walls, recarpeting the, uh, recarpeting around the windows, and whatnot. Um, and then. Drywall patches, yeah. yeah. I don't know what this is for. You won't get put out and taken down. Yeah, there's two in the other room. Okay. I'm going to leave that one alone. What is that, tape or something? Yes, yeah, the, what they call it, the finishing tape. It's probably the day when they're doing the joint, when they're doing the, the joints and whatnot, this tape is supposed to make it sealed up and they smooth them out on both sides. Mm -hmm. But they didn't do a good job on the same and whatnot, so it's bucking up. So every, every scene would have tape like that. Oh, okay. um, they just didn't do a good job settling it in. So all that has to be replaced. Closet is okay if you want, because these can be very expensive because they're the overextended doors. Um, if you want to leave them, they're fine. But again, that's your choice. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's yours. I ain't mad at you. I'm mad at you. How expensive? Um, see, what you what you say the uh, price on these doors? That's a 
48 inch, you get, you get a 48 by, by for what the height. Yeah, the height is what it is. That's what it's feet. It's higher than. It's a little higher than the seven. Yes, and this is a special order. The doors come 80 inches high. That's 95, so you just special so order. I'm right here, the normal size door. So you can bring it down and frame it out and then put it up. This is 80 inches. Most doors come this high. So you can just, just frame it down and put it in the 80 inch. First, it takes about 15, 16 days to get here. Uh -huh. And um, last time I ordered one, it took me like $300. Mm -hmm. Where if you get a couple of two by fours, it's a drywall. Well, I'm fine with the drywall. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't have to be that tall, I'm sure. <laughs> Yes. 